Two Kincho. What are you doing? This is the two big bros. This is how I think about it. And the show. And today we're going to talk about a uh, random thought. It was a really random thought uh, about vaccines. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're thinking of Tom Hanks with the COVID. He had the COVID. I had COVID. No, Tom Hanks had the COVID. You know that they want to vaccine us, right? Oh, yeah, for monkeypox. Yeah, so they want to vaccine us for COVID. And now since COVID disappeared all of a sudden, now they're saying monkeypox is here. And millions of people already have the vaccine for monkeypox. Don't you think that's just kind of weird that they tried to force us to take COVID vaccine when COVID is only is 99.9% survival rate after contracting COVID, but they want us to take vaccines. And then all of a sudden, when all their um, uh, efforts has failed, right? And, and, and two thirds of the community still is un, uh, refuse to shoot up this miracle vaccine that does it protect you doesn't stop you from getting COVID and doesn't stop you from spreading COVID. Um, uh, now, now they said, okay, we'll sweep COVID under the table when supposedly there's still new variants coming out. Yes, which is why they want you to get booster shots. But, but at the same time, since COVID is swept under the rug, Right? You still don't need to wear masks. Uh, now they're introducing all oh, this, this monkey pox. Well, I'm not a monkey. Yeah, well, this is the thing, yeah? The, the majority of the population that is getting monkey pox right now um, are the LGBTQ people. It's, it's oh, like, you get them it's from like, your butt. It's like, um, it's like when AIDS first started. Yeah, butts. Butt sex. What? You get AIDS from butt sex because when you butt sex, it breaks a lot of blood vessels in your butt, which makes you higher susceptible to contracting uh, a blood um, a blood disease. Yes, a bloodborne illness. Yes. Yes. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to butt hurt anybody. <laughs> You're not trying to butt hurt anyone. Yeah, um, that's that's the reason. And a lot of a lot of um, gay people, they feel because there is no risk of pregnancy, they um, hardly wear any protection. So. Not only are you not wearing protection, but you're magnifying the amount of blood vessels during sex. It doesn't mean that gay people um, contract AIDS faster. It's just their their uh, behavior. Um, Correct. So perhaps this monkeypox is uh, AIDS his brother. Well, they're saying that um, you can also get monkeypox if you come to contact with somebody that has mon monkeypox and you have skin-to-skin -skin contact. Right, but what is monkeypox? Can you can you see it? I don't. I don't know. So you, you might have monkeypox. No, I don't have monkeypox. How do you know? Because I was never exposed to monkeypox. So well, I have monkeypox. Uh, no, I don't. I just, I just, I just 
making him scared so he committed suicide. He said that uh, if I ever gave him some kind of um, sexual transmitted disease, he'd have to kill himself. Uh, weirdo. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, uh, that wasn't even a movie, uh, a video idea, but uh, I'm going to save it as a movie. So what do you guys think about it? What did you start it off as? Monkeybox. Oh, the corona, the corona vaccine and now monkeypox vaccine. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, our government trying to get us to uh, shoot up some kind of vaccine? And uh, are you guys vaccinated? And uh, did you guys get corona? Because I survived corona and I am diabetic. I'm old. I have, I have, I have uh, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, congestive heart failure. I have... Uh, Renal failure. I was at the highest risk. And I'm, I'm old. You think consider me old? I take a nap uh, <laughs> <laughs> during the day. Um, yeah, I was at high risk. And all my nurses, they had suggested to me, um, you know, you should take the vaccine. You should take the vaccine. I even, um, when I found out that I had corona, uh, I didn't even have a fever. The only reason why. Uh, I found out I had Corona was because I was going I was scheduled to do surgery and you got to do the Corona check prior the day before surgery and um, what is strange is to get my Corona test I had to temp to get into the doctor's office and I tempted normal and um, within I would say five hours of taking the test I started having a fever. Uh, I felt like shit. I was um, I was misinformed though, because you know the uh, you know the health department. Yes. Once you contract COVID, or for me, uh, all kinds of health department people started calling and they wanted all kind of information, where I live, who I have sex with, um, um, where where did I go, and stuff like that, and um. I was misled. I had taught that um, I thought that COVID was only five days, but um, after five days, I still felt like shit. And they had re reiterated what they really meant, and they said that uh, the contagious. Uh, I I I would be contagious up to five days, but I would still have to. Uh, fight the flu so one of the things that they said when I first got corona they said as soon as you can get to your doctor and have them prescribe you the COVID medicine so I was all scared because I really felt like shit um, but then I was like man I held off for two years without getting the vaccine why am I um, you know going to be a sellout I, f I, I felt like if I was to rush and go get the corona uh, medicine I felt like I was going to be a sellout, and I was like, man, um, if it's my time to die, then why not, uh, why not just go? So I never took anything. I survived. Uh, in fact, I think I was only sick for maybe a week, uh, maybe a little over a week, and uh, I survived, and I, I do not notice any side effects like a lot of people say that they have side effects after corona but also i've heard that there's side effects after taking the vaccine so i don't know what um i just i just didn't want to introduce something foreign that i really didn't know and i felt like um there wasn't enough tests done but anyways this has been like a bibliography is that the <coughs> word bibliography of my life yes uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, tell us about what you guys think about all these vaccines forced on us and everything. Um, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. We don't care. Just show us that you are supporting us. Until next time. Bye.